The list grows by the hour tonight. Kroger stores are now joining the dozens of places yanking tomatoes off shelves and menus. The threat is salmonella. Some people are so sick they had to be hospitalized. And News' Todd Dykes is live with the risk. And now what's being done to keep those tainted tomatoes away from you and your family? Todd? Yeah, Cherie and Curtis, you know, it's a summertime favorite that has now left dozens and dozens of people across the country feeling pretty rotten. We're talking about close to 150 cases of uh, salmonella food poisoning. They've been linked to a certain variety of tomatoes, uh, varieties rather. We're talking fresh red Roma, uh, plum, and also red round tomatoes. And that does have tri-state restaurants and grocery stores like the Kroger here in uh, Hyde Park uh, taking action. From empty vegetable bins to salads missing their signature splash of red, a growing number of Tri-State restaurants are keeping certain varieties of tomatoes off their menus. Fortunately for us, Roma tomatoes are kind of the main concern, and those are only in select sandwiches uh, as well as salads and things. So we pulled those all off. From the Montgomery and Boathouse to Burrito Joe's downtown, you won't find fresh Roma, plum, or red round tomatoes like these because of a salmonella outbreak in other parts of the country. Other local restaurants have pulled them. I believe some of the big uh, supermarkets have pulled them. So, you know, it's just it's the right thing to do for everybody. Federal health officials say 145 infections tied to tainted tomatoes have been reported from mid-April to late last month. Likely it's some source in the field, literally contaminated in the field. Not all tomatoes are problematic. At stores like this IGA in Clifton, you'll find cherry and grape tomatoes and tomatoes sold with the vine still attached. Those tomatoes are okay. But until the source of the bad tomatoes is pinpointed, you should know what salmonella food poisoning can do to your body. Uh, you'll have cramps, ab abdominal cramps. Uh, you'll have a fever, likely fever is a telltale symptom of salmonella poisoning. And uh, you'll, you'll have some diarrhea and you'll be pretty uncomfortable. Well, to help you uh, stay away from becoming sick, uh, restaurants including Taco Bell, Chipotle, Subway, McDonald's, just to name a few, have stopped serving those uh, varieties of t potentially tainted tomatoes. And again, we want to go over those varieties one more time. We're talking Red Roma, Plum, and Red Round tomatoes. Reporting live tonight, Todd Dykes, News 5, where the news comes first. All right, Todd. Yeah, I know last night La Rosa's did the same thing with my salad. Before you go, real quick, Todd, do health experts think that we're going to see any of these salmonella cases here in the tri-state? Well, I think that's entirely possible. In fact, I spoke a short while ago with Dr. Steve Englander. He's with the Cincinnati Health Department, and he said because of the way food is now transported in the U.S., a case out west can become suddenly a number of cases in this area. So, yes, he thinks it's entirely possible. And also, once uh, these kinds of things become more publicized, people who are at home feeling sick right now will suddenly go to their doctor and realize it might be a little more serious, and then he says that's when it's likely uh, cases will start to crop up here in the tri-state. Okay, reporting live for us tonight, Todd Dykes live in Hyde Park. Todd, thank you. And as we mentioned, dozens of tri-state restaurants and grocery stores have pulled tomatoes from their shelves just to be safe. Now, here's a look at some of them, including popular places like McDonald's and Applebee's. For a more complete list and details on the types of tomatoes causing all the concern, all you have to do is visit our top stories on WLWT.com.